Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, in today's video we've got a really fun and powerful Town Hall 16 attack strategy with 14 druids. So this is the army, we're going to check out some replays in just a moment. A couple of root riders, one minion, six valkyries, a headhunter and 14 druids. Spells are going to be two free spells, a clone spell, two earthquake spells, two overgrowth spells, a rage spell and a poison spell. Clan castle troops depends on the base. If you're funneling with max level siege barracks, six valkyries and a minion. If you're going to take out the Town Hall, a couple of yetis inside the battle blimp. This is the hero equipment. I'm using spiky ball and earthquake boots on the king, frozen arrow and invisibility vial on the queen. Very importantly for this attack strategy, fireball and rage gem on the grand warden and haste vial and hog rider puppet on the royal champion. So lots of fun this attack strategy. Let's see how it works. So on to our first replay. So we're going to start with a grand warden walk, grand warden on ground mode. Pets up to you guys. Probably the angry jelly might work well or even the owl. Diggy, well, we'll see. So Grand Warden there in the corner. We haven't got any healers on the Grand Warden yet. We're going to send in a couple of Druids in a moment. So this whole attack strategy, you're going to be sort of sending those Druids in every 10, 20 seconds. So we're going to use a couple of Earthquake spells with the Fireball on a compartment. Those Earthquake spells will obviously damage the buildings and then aim your Grand Warden for a specific area of the base. Remember to send in some Druids to help him out if you need to. We haven't had to yet. And the Fireball doing some nice damage there. Then we're using the King to sort of draw the Grand Warden back to where the main army will be. Siege Barracks on the right hand side. Couple of Root Riders there. We've got a clone spell to clone those Root Riders later if we need to. And then it's all about just using your Druids. Don't send them all in at once. Sort of just feed them in every 30 seconds or so to keep that army topped up with health. Of course after 30 seconds or if they get knocked out at max level the druid will turn into a bear which is a good troop but you don't want to waste them all at the beginning and have bears suddenly in the base. You want a couple here, a couple of there to help funnel your troops, help with the Grand Warden, maybe one on the siege barracks to help then send in your arm. You've got those overgrowth spells to help as well. Your heroes will do the main damage in this attack strategy. And as we can see there, I've just sent in another druid. We've got druids in the base. We're going to take out the town hall. And it might be worth keeping a couple of druids to send in with your royal champion later as well. All I'm trying to say is don't send them all in at once. Maybe have a couple of druids, two, three with the Grand Warden at the beginning if you need them. A couple on the siege barracks for your funnel. And then a few for your main army when you send it in. You can use that clone spell on your root riders to make sure you've got enough root riders to take out the walls in the base. And then as your army moves through the base, send in a couple more druids every now and again. And it's a really good, really fun attack strategy. So this was a friendly challenge, by the way. This is how I practice. And as you can see, we've got loads of bears in the base. I repeat, bears in the base. Now, I know you've probably actually got... Giant Gauntlet and Rage Vial on the King. That's fine. I just like using Spiky Ball and Earthquake Boots. Or Spiky Ball and Vamp Tash. A lot of people have been saying that's really good. And it can be. You can have a King with full health at the end of the battle. So again, another replay. This time in hard mode. I don't like this base, guys. Double Invisibility Spell Tower at the core of the base can be nasty. So Siege Barracks on one side of the base. King on the other side with a Druid. And the Siege Barracks does have a Druid or two to help out. Help Funnel. So we want to take out that central compartment in just a moment. So this is a bit different, kind of not a warden walk, but I'm sending him in with the main army and going after the Eagle Artillery area. We're going to use those earthquake spells in a moment. Can we take out the clan castle troops as well? It's going to be close. There's the fireball. It's melted a lot of things there. I think one ice golem has survived just, but it's gone now. So you don't always have to use the Grand Warden fireball sort of strategically with a warden walk. You can send him in with the main army. It depends. I mean, this attack was a... I didn't really plan it very well, but it's going to work out okay in the end. So we need to try and get towards the town hall now. But we do have overgrowth spells. So if we use an overgrowth spell on the left-hand side, that's going to help funnel our troops into the centre of the base. I think we know we haven't used the clone spell yet. That's fine. You can use that clone spell when you need to. We've got a rage spell as well. Obviously, you've got the rage gem on the Grand Warden, but having a rage spell does help in certain circumstances as well. Can we take out the town hall? I think we're going to be okay. We haven't sent in the Royal Champion yet. No, we have, guys. Sorry. Uh, we have. I just didn't notice. And those invisibility spell towers can be really annoying, as you probably no. Can we take out the town hall? The queen says, yeah, don't worry. And we've used an overgrowth spell on the right-hand side with all those nasty defences. I like doing that. If you've got an area of the base with loads of defences, just use an overgrowth spell. Your troops will get back to it later. So yes, the town hall has been taken out. The rule champion is doing a great job. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're going to send in the rule champion a bit later, send in a couple of druids with her to help out. Druids are great. 
They really are a good troop, especially for your heroes for setting up the attack. Warden walks, queen walks, funneling, send them in with the siege barracks. We've got 14 of them, guys. We've got loads. Now, can you do this attack without the fireball and the Grand Warden? I think so. You can still do a bit of a Warden walk. You don't need the fireball. You can set up a funnel and a siege barracks on the other side or the king and still send in your troops into the base. They might even be stronger using Eternal Tome and Healing Tome. I don't know, guys. You could test that out. So here we go. Another attack with the Grand Warden. A bit more of a traditional Warden walk on the right-hand side of the base. Again, we haven't sent in any Druids yet. We don't need to as the Grand Warden's not really taken any damage remember you've got about 30 seconds worth of healing from those druids before they transform into a bear so here we go two druids should be enough with the grand warden there i'm sort of looking towards where we can use the fireball in just a moment with the earthquake spells don't use them too soon because there might be battle builders there repairing things so there we go can we take out that whole compartment it's going to be close that'll do and then we're using the king to draw the grand warden away back to where the main army will be remember you can do that guys otherwise your grand warden might get in trouble another druid to help out there there's the root riders they're really important funnel on the left with the siege barracks and like i said earlier try and use that clone spell for your root riders when they're further into the base obviously you still need to try and take out walls now we're going to use the overgrowth spell to neutralize that compartment further down there's an invisibility spell tower being annoying but hopefully we can take out the town hall in just a moment. So I've had a lot of fun with this attack strategy. 14 druids, something completely different. I think it does work. I think it's a lot of fun. I think fireball is a lot of fun as well, guys, if you've got that. And now we're going to send in the rule champion on the left-hand side. Remember, if you enjoyed the video today, of course, leave a like for Mike the Minion. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus Army for more videos like this. And if you are new to the channel, guys, you're still watching, thank you. What I try and do on this channel is find nice, easy-to-use spam attacks for the casual player. Obviously, Town Hall 16's got a bit easier. Definitely more easier than Town Hall 15. Anyway, I just like nice, easy-to-use attacks. And I think this is one of those. Yes, a bit of skill required with a ward and walk and directing that fireball if you're going to use it that way. But still, I think this attack is really, really easy. So, Rule Champion now moving through the base. We're going to be okay. There's bears everywhere. So guys, I do hope you've enjoyed the video today. One last thing I will mention is on this channel, we do have something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. Our code is code Moose. Any support would be amazing and you do need to renew it once a week. Anyway, take care. Remember to practice your funneling and I'll see you later, guys. Bye.